You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring the scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello, welcome to Constituent Marking with Fred Long on Proof Text, and this is Fred Long. We're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and uh, we've been going just about at a pace of one verse per week. Sometimes we do more than that. Uh, we're looking at 12.29. <clears throat> so let me read the Greek text, and I'll translate it. I think I need to do that consistently, but uh, and then I'll mark it up. So, me pantes opostoli, me pantes prophete, me pantes didaskali, me pantes dunamis. All right, so translate that. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all miracles or workers of miracles? All right, <clears throat> so what's going on here? Let's do some marking. The may is an adverb. You got me pantes, and then you have um, a noun, apostoli. Uh, this pattern is going to repeat pantes and then profete. Each of those receives a single, single underline. So I'm basically just putting a, box, uh, a dotted circle around the me, and then I'm single underlining the uh, pantes and then the corresponding noun. Now, one thing that we need to note absolutely is that these are questions. And when you have, uh, there's a rule that kicks in, and I didn't translate these properly, but uh, just to get it started, when you have may with uh, a question, it is a type of question that expects a negative answer, okay? So it, it expects a negative answer. So just as in English, we can ask questions in such a way that it anticipates uh, a certain response, can't we? Well, yes, we do. So uh, we, can, we can do that in Greek. In fact, Greek marks that uh, with this may. And also, ooh. You can also use ooh or ook, and this expects a positive answer. Okay? So the rule is simply, if you know the English alphabet, you got the rule. May, ex M-N-O-P. So M-N-O-P, may expects a negative answer. Ooh expects a positive answer. So... Uh, how would I translate this better? Well, I would translate it this way. And and by the way, there's uh, no uh, copula. So there's no verb, but we can easily supply it because we have um, these nominatives. And it's these are punchy, repetitive, uh, rhetorical questions expecting negative uh, answers. So all aren't apostles, are they? No. All aren't prophets, are they? No. All aren't teachers, are they? No. All aren't miracle workers or powers, are they? No. No, 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 no. Okay. So uh, what does this mean? People in the body of Christ don't have the same gifting. And these gifts are not found in everybody. Everyone is not an apostle, a teacher, a prophet, or miracle worker. All right. It's as simple as that. That's how I'd mark this up. Thanks for listening and watching and hope you have you uh, join us next time. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glow's House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glowsahouse.com today. Glow's House, language resources for the global community.